Hi everybody, I'm in the Josephine Berger building at Bent Haven, building three. In the middle of the Marshall section sits my very favorite figure, Stony Brook. He's a wonderful, open-faced Marshall figure. I think he looks like the very friendliest one in our entire collection. He was owned by C. Earl Craig and donated by his estate in 1984. He's got moving eyes and he's got a leather mouth, which makes him almost unique among Marshall figures. And here we are in building number two at Ben Haven Museum, what we like to just call the garage building. And I'm looking at one of my favorite figures, Anonima Girl here, who we've just recently found out has a real name. Her name is Edith. And she's really sweet and special and sometimes gets overlooked here at the museum. And I think that's because there's so many around her. But I wanted to point her out today because I think uh, a lot of people notice how beautiful her clothing is. The textiles are just gorgeous on her. And so sometimes it takes a few times of coming through the museum to recognize that there are other things to look at other than just their faces. Um, I love Anonymous Girl, and if you look here, Anonymous Boy right beside her, they came together to the museum in 1958 when WS bought them both for $53. Um, it's a neat story to find out that the female ventriloquist Anonymous that used her, she was the first female ventriloquist in Germany. And her husband, Clement DeLion, was actually the one who taught her how to be a ventriloquist. And she was wonderful, she got rave reviews, but unfortunately she passed away when she was only 28 years old. So her career was cut short, but it's nice that her figures can live on here at Ben Haven. Hi, we're here in the W.S. Burger Building. That's Building 1 here at Ben Haven Museum. And I want to tell you about one of my favorite figures, Shorty Jones. He's here on my left. Shorty Jones was used by Augustus Rapp, who was a performer who performed in the early 1900s. And he would go from city to city, and he would arrive in a city and stay for the whole week doing a different show each night. That's a lot of different shows. And Shorty was, of course, one of his acts. When he arrived here at Ben Haven, he came with this sweet note which was in his file, and I'd like to share that note with you because it's my favorite thing about him. It says, Dear Mr. Berger, here is Shorty, my only son. He was a good boy for 50 years. If you ever talk back to me, it must have been my fault. Give him a nice warm place near the bathroom. When you come to the tours on Saturday, be sure to find Shorty Jones and check him out.